this might call. I feel like it's like totally overwhelmed at the moment. There's problem with episode one. The content is right. Like I'm saying all the stuff that's important for you to know about this project it is way too produced. At least even as poorly as it's produced, it was overproduced. Uh, I just need to give you the information straight. It feels like it's just kind of being dictated when really I want the personality and the perspective to be from my point of view in the process of, I'm just going to make this thing. Today is the day. V day of the launch and trying to get the website ready to go. It is not ready and a trailer that's in pieces still. I've got about 10 people showing up for showing up for a brain trust meeting to kick off this project. So uh, I've got to get stuff together. We've got about six hours till people start showing up. Not here actually at one of our writer's houses. I've got to get a lot of stuff done before our meeting. Here we go. All right, yeah. I mean, as a kid, I loved movies. And at a very early age, I wanted to make them myself. And I knew that was what I wanted to do with my life. I was inspired by movies like Indiana Jones and Star Wars and uh, the big epic films like Lord of the Rings. And I wanted to be able to make stuff just like that. The feelings that I was feeling, watching those, I wanted to make that for other people. Okay, just got the latest version of the trailer from Jake and uh, he just edited this up and I'm gonna watch it down. Uh, we are so close. That's the problem is, is like we're just so close. So we'll give him a couple more notes and uh, hopefully we'll get this done in the next 30 minutes. It's about 2.30. We're going to take this along at 6.30. So we'll get that done. Looks like my mom's got into the spirit of things. We're making a movie in 100 days. A full feature film, 90 minutes. Let's cut that back, 70 to 90 minutes. Second thing, we're doing a YouTube series that is about the making of this film. And it's complete transparency, me in real time, doing what I'm doing, you following along every day until that film is made. Okay, it is 5.30. I'm pretty much like behind, I need to go. Oh man, okay. It is five minutes till seven and it's real dark now. You can't see me, but we are counting down five minutes and I am still three minutes away from Ben's house. All right, good. Looks like there's some people here. First test in the one. All right, what do we got? All right, we're pretty much start. Start! No pressure. Go. All right, we did it. I mean, like, I mean, just by the skin of our teeth. Shoot, Matt's gonna roll in. So I'm gonna run in with a USB uh, drive, plug it into the laptop right. and the projector. No, it's gonna be like a real. Like there's a
One of the very first things I did when I started this project was I reached out to my friends and family, my close confidants, the people that have always supported me no matter what I do. I reached out to a handful of those folks that were particularly interested and in, had a lot of skill in, uh, in building campaigns and uh, creating audiences. Now, if you're ever at the point where you need to create a brain trust or a board for yourself, your goal has to be that when you're sitting at the table with all these other people, you need to be the dumbest person out of all of those people there. What I think is going to work is what's happening now. It's inviting you in, in the moment, while we're making this thing. You're seeing the decisions happen in real time. We collect these things at the end of the day, or end of a couple days, and we put it together in a way that's at least enjoyable and watchable. Of course, this is all up for debate, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments. Uh, do people use comments? Let's find out. Good thing I started recording as soon as that fire engine went by.